Hello there! Today I'm gonna talk about three muscles that guys never ever train. And I've been to a lot of gyms around the world and I never see any guys do these three exercises or train these three parts of their body. And I'm gonna give you a hint to what these three are. You can see them when you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Now think hard. Oh, by the way, just uh, what do you think of my new sunglasses? I like them. Very nice, very nice. Anyways, okay. Time's up. What are these three muscles that I'm hinting at? Okay, you probably know the first one. It's this, the neck muscle. I never see any guys train their neck muscles in a gym. If you want to know how to train your neck muscles, start by doing neck bridges. You get on the floor, trying to find some artificial turf or a yoga mat or whatever, carpet is fine. You lie down on your back, flat on your back, and then you curl. You raise your belly up to the sky. You lift your legs up, you lift your butt up. So you're arching. And then you, you do some neck bridges, just like Mike Tyson. If you don't know what it looks like, the way I'm describing it, just look up Mike Tyson neck bridges. And you'll, or wrestler bridges. And then you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, you need to train your neck muscles. Okay, why? Because if you get hit in the face upon impact, you need to, your neck muscle is going to protect you from the whiplash. Okay, whether you get hit by a car, you get hit by an opponent, you get struck off your bike, whatever. You need to train your neck muscle. It's going to protect your head, so train your neck. Second body part that most guys never train is this, is this, okay? Your forearms. Uh, I'm not talking about these dinky little forearm curls that I see you guys doing with a little bit of weight. Yeah. That's kid stuff. Okay, if you really want to train your forearms, you're going to take a kettlebell, you're going to put it on a table or a bench, and you're going to turn like this, back and forth, back and forth. So what I do is I take two kettlebells. If you want to start off, start off with 10 pound kettlebells and then work your way up to 30 or 40. Okay, take two kettlebells, grab them, you flip them side to side, just like a pancake, back and forth, as fast as you can, as slow as you can. The point is to keep going. And you don't stop at 10 reps. Uh, 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 uh. A lot of guys, get out of this 10 rep mind frame, okay? Go for 100. Go for 100 neck bridges. Go for 100 kettlebell twists, okay? Twist, 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 side, side. You need to twist your hand when you're throwing a punch, okay? You cannot throw a punch like this. Well, you could, but it's not really as effective as this, okay? You need to land your punch with these two knuckles. Okay, you need to twist as you punch. Okay, so, and there's so many other things, but most importantly, girls notice guys with giant forearms. A guy can have a big chest, big glutes from squats, but rarely do you see a guy walking around with giant forearms, and giant veins popping out. Girls notice forearms. Pay attention, guys, to train your forearms. Kettlebell turns, twists. As much as you can, as many as you can. Okay, and then the final muscle. You're probably guessing, oh, Justin's gonna say calf muscle. Wrong, wrong. Eh. I see guys training their calves. Some, some train their calves. But what they don't train is the opposite muscle of the calf. So think about this way. If your calf muscle is your tricep, then which muscle is your bicep for your lower leg? Think hard. Starts with a T. It's called the tibialis. You need to train your tibialis. This muscle right here. The reason why most people can't run or run well is because they haven't trained their lower leg, lower muscles in their legs. And I'm not just talking about calves. I'm talking about the tibialis muscle. This forward, this front muscle right here. Okay, it's the bicep of the lower leg. Okay, it helps with dorsiflexion. If you don't know what that is, it just helps you to recoil your foot back faster and better. So yes, you should train your calf muscle, obviously, but you should train the opposite muscle as well. It's like just training your triceps and ignoring your biceps forever. 
I never see anyone, any guy training their tibialis. So what do you do to train the tibialis? You get a strap. What I use, I use uh, gymnastic straps. I tie it around my leg with a dumbbell. And then off a bench, I just lift my foot up like this. So this, pretend this is the dumbbell. I, I strap it to my shoe. And I lift my leg, my shoe up like this. And I'm not talking 10 reps. I'm talking 100 reps. As many as you can. Keep going. Keep going, okay? If you can't do 100, then start with really light dumbbells. Start with a 10-pound dumbbell. And just flex your tibialis as many times as possible. All right? And you'll notice that, that when you kick in Muay Thai, for example, or kickboxing, that muscle right there, you need that muscle to just bam, bam, smack into your opponent's thigh. You can, they're going to feel it much better than someone who has not developed their tibialis muscle. So those are the three muscles in your recap. You train your neck, you train your forearms, and you train your tibialis. So get out there in the gym, start training these three muscles. No excuses. And remember that I love you. I'll talk to you later.